The Ray's proposed deal with the city of St. Pete and Pinellas County comes after years of speculation. The team might move to Tampa or even outside of the Bay Area. All right, take a look. This is what stands now in the historic gas plant district, Tropicana Field, and a lot of space for parking. But here is what's coming, a brand new ballpark along with several new developments, a multi-billion dollar project that they hope to break ground on by the end of next year. We do have team coverage tonight. Emerald Mara will have reaction from one group already speaking out against the plan. But we start with Aaron Parsegian, who's at Tropicana Field with a look at the plans and what still needs to happen, Aaron. You see it on the Jumbotron behind me, the race say. They're here to stay as part of a $1.3 billion project. That doesn't mean just a new stadium for the Rays, but a drastic change to this area of St. Petersburg as a whole. But I promise you this, we will work diligently and thoughtfully to make certain that this is a project of which we will all be proud of. It's an announcement Rays owner Stu Sternberg says he's wanted to make for nearly two decades. Major League Baseball is here to stay right here. The Rays, the city of St. Petersburg, and Pinellas County reaching a deal to build the $1.3 billion stadium as part of a massive multi-billion dollar public-private investment to redevelop the city's 86-acre historic gas plant district. This is what the community was promised. This is what business and civic leaders over decades have hoped for. On top of a 30,000 seat ballpark with a pavilion style roof, the project also includes 4,800 residential units, an additional 1,200 affordable ones, several million square feet of office, retail and entertainment space, 14,000 parking spots, 14 acres of public park, and a new home for the Woodson African American Museum of Florida. Today we celebrate the power of partnership and our focus on inclusive progress for our entire community based on our shared priorities. Now let's talk costs. The Rays will put up $700 million in anything over. The city and county will be on the hook for $300 million each. The county says they will cover it with money from the bed tax. The city says they will use bonding and won't raise taxes or levy new ones. For that $300 million investment, we will get back, as we've said, more than $6 billion of investment, 30,000 construction jobs, 7,000 permanent jobs after that. We look at that $300 million as an investment that will pay dividends to the city of St. Pete. This is a massive step forward for the project, but not a done deal. It still needs additional approval from the city and county commissions in the coming months. It will take bold moves and create a vision, and that work begins here today. If all goes according to plan, Tropicana Field will be here as we know it until a new stadium is ready to be moved in. At that point, this will be demolished, making room for even more development. In Tropicana Field, Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay.